Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning at last, and lots of you will be thinking, yeah, it's Mrs. Gaddis's favourite day. You're right, it really is. So those of you that haven't been to our nursery yet know that we do something quite special in a nursery every Friday, but we'll save that as a secret until you manage to join us. Now, I hope that you've had fun looking at um, the story, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See?, and the children who've been in school have had lots of fun doing it and seeing all the different animals and everything that we've done with it. Now, we've got, in school, we've got some what we call story stones, which um, are just a way of, of letting the children play with uh, a familiar um, thing, such as a rock, which we actually use all the time for doing lots of different things like weighing them, counting them. And today that's actually what we're going to be doing is seeing how many animals are in our story or perhaps things that you've got around the house. Now, if I make, if I show you some of mine, when we're counting at school, we always use our careful counting finger so that every time that we count, when we touch, we say a number, we have to touch it. So if I'm touching this one and this one, oh, this is going to be quite tricky. I have to, when I touch the horse, I say one, two. And I can actually then make the difference between one and two. Sometimes it's a good idea to put them slightly further away so that they, the children can make the difference between counting one, two. Because if you get them too close together, they go one, two. So try and say one, two. Two. Now, if I've got, I'm going to show you some different ones now. How many animals am I showing you now? Nope. See if you can touch the screen. Oh, nearly dropped them then. See if you can touch the screen and tell me how many animals I'm showing you now. There's a fish, a monkey and a purple cat. How many animals are there? Because today's big question is, how many animals are in our story? How many can we count? So we're having to think about the numbers. So have a go at thinking about some of the animals. You might need to play back the video that I had before, or you can actually find the story of this online. There is, a, um, there is a, a, at least one on the, a YouTube clip, okay? If I've just got a sheep, if I use my careful counting finger, what number do I say? I always start with the same number. I start with number one. So I've got one there. So we've had great fun with these story stones in school. Oh, look, we've got a bear there. Now, I can't find the red bird, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. So, um, oh, and I think there's one more, actually. See if you can work out which is missing. There's definitely a red bird missing. And I think there's probably one more that I haven't shown you yet. Oh, we've got an upside down monkey, look. So we've got lots of those. Now, if you are thinking, I haven't got any story stones or anything like that. Now, you might have something else around your house that you can count. I've got some little teddy bears here, so you can go with them. Now, at school, we uh, to start with, we only encourage the children counting up to five until they've got um, the concept of going one, two, and actually touching each one individually. Now, when we're think, jumping up and down steps and things like that in your house, maybe you can, every time you jump up and down the stairs, maybe you can count the number of stairs in your house, unless you live in a bungalow. So, have a go at counting everything around you, but try and touch everything as you count it. So, it might be that you're going to count out your teddies. It might be that you're going to count out how many spoons you've got uh, on your table how many wellies you can find, things like that. So if you're trying to make the children do it themselves, try to only go up to five at the moment with them counting, but you can model counting much further and reciting the numbers up to 10, 20, as many as you can go. The more that they hear them, the better it is really. And even having a look at some of the numerals, once again, have, oh, we've got some paw print ones here because we're doing about bears. So we've got lots of um, bear related things around. Now, the two numbers that everybody loves in our nursery are number three, because lots of our children are three or have just become three. And lots of the children love this one because they've either become four recently or are going to be four next. So talking about numbers that are important to them is a really good thing to do. So have a go doing some things with some numbers and let me know on Tapestry how you're getting on. Okay, have fun, a fun Friday. Bye.